Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Melody Johnson. Unfortunately, I don't have a sports analogy. I know I'm not very athletic uh, to my husband's dismay. However, um, recently I, he convinced me to try zip lining, and I tried it, and it was awesome. I recommend it, especially in Cancun. It's a great place to do zip lining. Um, one thing that I learned by you know, doing zip lining was that I finally decided to be brave. And so that's one of the uh, themes that I want to emphasize today, that IT to take on these new technologies and new systems, that we have to be brave. And um, that's why we've invited you here, to help us to learn how to be brave, to uh, implement systems that we hadn't thought of before, um, because that's what's necessary to really take us to the next level. Okay, so for the airport technology and business systems um, group, I'd like to introduce um, the members of our various divisions. I'm gonna ask you to stand up and I'll call your names. Uh, first, uh, members of the project management division, if you could please stand. And these folks will be sitting at tables at the end of the, at the, end of the uh, presentations to tell you about what we do. But as I call your name, please turn around and wave your, your hand. So we have Eugene Clarkson, Jackie Blackwell, Jaime Olivares, E. Lee, Mandana, Mandana, and am I missing someone? Michaela is here somewhere. She is the brainchild. This is her brainchild, so we definitely want to acknowledge her. Thank you very much. The Business Application and Support Division, if you can please stand. So we have Remy Aquino, she's the division manager, division director, Mei Lu, Pen Kamikubo, Ray Raymond Su, and Steve Manick, he's our photographer. Stand up, thank you. Thank you very much. Also for the uh, airport and public safety systems division, if you can please stand. We have uh, Marina Mondoyan. Patrick Pham, Fidel Fernandez, Ardeen Blackhall, and Zoran Teritic. And from our GIS Support Services Division, thank you everyone, uh, Paul Burns. Core functions, uh, we're responsible for project management, which includes uh, the implementation of IT capital projects, as well as we support the um, capital construction projects that are managed under the project development group. All of the IT core components are within those projects. For our business applications group, we're responsible for financial systems and enterprise databases, including SAP and our revenue asset management system. Uh, we have enterprise applications that are homegrown. We develop applications as well as support COTS type applications, commercial off-the-shelf applications. Those applications include content management, internet and intranet applications, uh, including LAWA.org and Inside LAWA, as well as uh, facilities operation systems, uh, such as Maximo and an automated vehicle uh, identification system. In GIS services, we're responsible for our GIS CAD, mapping and applications, including uh, we're responsible for all of the facility base maps and building and floor plan data. Field, we conduct field surveys. We're responsible for the master lease exhibits, aerial photos, as-built drawings, and uh, Paul's group also does a great job in developing the GIS standards, which are also published on LAWA.org. In our airport and public safety systems, we're responsible for our terminal support systems, which include um, all of the systems that are used in the gates that LAWA man I'm sorry, used in the terminals that LAWA manages. So right now, LAWA manages two terminals, our Tom Bradley International Terminal and Terminal 3. And we're responsible for systems that are used to manage our resources uh, in those terminals. So we have limited physical resources in the terminals 
but many, many airlines. In Tom Bradley alone, we have over 30 airlines that are operating out of that terminal. We have limited ticket counter and gate facilities, and so our airport response coordination center, they have gate managers that are responsible for assigning those resources to the multiple um, airlines. And we support those systems. We're also responsible, the, included in that system includes um, gate management, uh, ticket counter resources, as well as um, bag carousels, and all of the flight information displays that are in that particular terminal. We are also, uh, currently we're responsible for all the flight information displays that are in terminals one, two, three, uh, Tom Bradley International Terminal and the Terminal 4 connector. There's well over 800 displays that we're curr currently resp responsible for. We are responsible for the kiosk technology that, are, that is in the Tom Bradley terminal, so we have a common use component that goes to um, also to address the limited resources that we have, physical resources, and common use enables multiple airlines to access their host departure system without the need to install proprietary applications on those workstations. And same with the kiosk technology. Uh, so passengers can check in using kiosk technology and it's common use type kiosk. We're also responsible for the APC kiosks that are in our FIS facilities in the terminals here at LAX. Our airport response coordination center is responsible for um, overseeing and tracking the status of LAWAs or LAXs landside terminal and airside uh, resources. And so they're tracking if there are incidents that are occurring, they're running them to ground and they're reporting on them. We provide the uh, technology that is in the Airport Response Coordination Center that they use to track these various types of incidents and status. And so um, that includes dashboarding type applications, situational awareness applications, airport inspection tools, and um, airfield safety and operations logging type applications. And last but not least, our public safety and security system in systems includes our CCTV, police dispatch, badge and link credentialing system, as well as our, did I get everything? Badging, oh, physical security, access control. So some of the challenges that we have uh, are that our systems are siloed. So we recognize that you know, for each of our business units and each of the various functions that we have, that they have specific needs that only you know, specialized type applications are appropriate for. But the data that they are collecting and entering in those systems can be used across multiple business units. Right now, that data sometimes is being duplicated across multiple systems. So that's what I mean by saying that data is siloed. We want to have a one, we want to establish a single source of truth. Uh, we think that that can be accomplished via integration, system integration, so that data is only being entered once. Uh, if it's entered in multiple systems, then of course there's you know, more possibility of errors. We also want to enable the uh, data sharing amongst systems and amongst our internal and inter external stakeholders. We think that um, by doing so, it will enable our stakeholders to leverage the data and do more with the data and allow LAWA to manage our airport more efficiently. As we know, uh, there are nine terminals at LAX they kind of all function like ind individual airports. And so we want to change that so that we are sharing data across the various terminals and airlines, again, so that we can make a, a more efficient airport and ensure that passengers and airplanes and bags flow smoothly throughout our, um, our facility. So there's always uh, room for system improvements to increase uh, the efficiency of our business units operation. 
and uh, we, we recognize that there is that need. And I think that one of the challenges that we have as a IT with our stakeholders is that they know that maybe it's not, that they aren't doing things as efficiently as they could be, but sometimes they have a difficult time articulating that. And so what we've learned that we have to do is that we really have to learn their business so that we can help them think it through and help them think about how technology can be used to you know, provide a more efficient operation, help them do things differently, and you know, help them think, think differently. I think that they want to, they just aren't sure how to think outside the box. And so you know, that's where we come into play and, and, and tell them you know, what all the possibilities are. And ultimately, we want to improve the guest experience. I mean, that's really what we're here for, right? That's the purpose of this airport is our guests. And so without improving their experience, we're really doing a disservice to them. So, you know, it's, you know, it's no accident that that's a common theme, you know, through all of the presentations today is the guest experience. So we recognize the importance of it. We want to make sure that we're deploying technologies that really harvest um, new innovation and make it available to our guests because they expect it. You know, they're expecting to be able to do things faster, have access to information, you know, much sooner so that they can make decisions quickly. Okay, so let's talk about opportunities. So digital transformation, you know, brings about the ability to establish a or need to establish a digital strategy and a digital platform. We know that the data is important and being able to harvest that data, leverage it, share it is really what's going to enable us to do the, do more things. We want to enable data analytics and business intelligence. We want to in improve the guest experience and improve security and, and airport operations. So again, you know, as we're trying to determine where do we go next, we need your help in thinking about innovation that we haven't thought about yet. What is out there? What are the possibilities that we haven't thought of? We do have a, a great brain trust within IT but we're reaching out to you to help, to ask you to help us determine where do we go from here. Okay, so the, the list of contracts on the screen here is what, um, or projects I should say, are what have been recently competed within the last month, last nine months. It includes uh, Maximo System Support Services, as well as, um, operations and maintenance support for our airport response and uh, coordination center for the IT component of it. Our geographic information systems, as uh, Ora mentioned earlier, we're going to continue to develop GIS technology at the airport because we recognize the value of a visual. And when you can visualize the data in the form of mapping, it tells the story faster it's easier for the user to understand exactly what's happening. We have access control, uh, physical access control system, and uh, the manufacturer of that system, we're using Picture Perfect now, it's a legacy system. I was here, I was a project manager when it was implemented. I won't tell you how long ago that was, but it was a long time ago. And uh, so now the, the manufacturer is uh, sunsetting support of that application by 2020, and we have to replace that application. It's a huge undertaking for us because of the hardware component of it. All of the microcontrollers, you know, there are various vendors out there that have different, different approaches, um, and we want to make sure, we have to make sure that we make this transition with minimal impact to our, our operation here at the airport. In addition to the access control and alarm monitoring system, the credentialing system, uh, we just implemented a new credentialing system over the last few years and we're in the process of just performing maintenance of it. For these two systems, we are uh, taking a look and assessing them 
to determine what's the appropriate roadmap for LAWA moving forward in terms of uh, you know, how we're going to move to the next level in providing that type of services for our stakeholders. For uh, our project management, uh, project management office, um, we are also going to be implementing some new projects as well as uh, we recently we were in the process of awarding a contract for IT development services. We're going to be establishing multiple on-call contracts under that, under that particular contract. We'll be using, there are, will be uh, subcontracting opportunities. Some of the things that we have in mind for that contract include uh, development of mobile applications, data warehousing, data analytics, um, uh, mobile applications for airport and police operations. Upcoming contracting opportunities uh, is the operations and maintenance support services of our CCTV solution. And projects and project support include uh, poli our police computer-aided dispatch replacement. That is also a legacy system that was implemented many, many years ago. And I, I guess one thing that's positive about these legacy applications is that they have continued to function and, and run for all of these years without any major, major uh, glitches. We also have the CCTV system enhancement project that's upcoming. Though we did implement a, over 3,000 camera, we had a project a few years, a couple of years ago that we finished um, implementing over 3,000 cameras. With um, the state of you know, the world today and various type of terrorist activity, we recognize that the business rules maybe for a camera coverage have changed now. And so we are in the process of looking at where um, there is camera gaps, in the term, term camera coverage gap. We're also looking at, we didn't, um, we didn't convert all of our analog cameras to digital, so we will be looking at that as well. We have a separate uh, video solution in our Tom Bradley International Terminal that supports over 800 cameras, and so we'll be looking to move those cameras into uh, one video management solution. And uh, we have the IT project management and technical services, as well as uh, LAWA.org development. So we are going to be um, issuing a call for entries for our web redesign. We're looking at, um, looking for ideas of how to uh, develop a internet uh, website that is representative of this iconic international airport. And we want you to think about it from the perspective of our guests as well as from our business perspective because they, those are two different groups of uh, folks that have different purposes and different different needs from LAWA, so we're going to be looking to identify how you can create websites that are, are specific for those two purposes. And we, we will be able to use the, um, the one of the IT contracts to uh, pursue that initiative. And that's it for me. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim and Melody. So for those out there, I know I have some contractors out there who have done business with LAWA for many years, but for those uh, who are new to LAWA, I hope that that was very informative. Um, I think they really went through some level of detail um, to share uh, what, what our business is. Um, we probably have one of the largest IT teams uh, in the airport industry, um, certainly uh, nationally, and we, we do a lot uh, in addition to um, having to get uh, contracting and consulting support from you. So uh, that was just an introduction to what we do, and again, we're looking forward to continuing that discussion and dialogue uh, after the formal presentations.